Hello and welcome to this video. I'm gonna, in this video, I'm going to share with you my eight secrets to achieving financial freedom. This secret would help you achieve financial freedom in no time. You see, in order for you to be successful, sustain and maintain that wealth, you need to know the secret to help you take you there. So before we get going, if you like this video or any of my videos, hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. When I started my property investment journey, the first thing I wanted was to be able to spend more time with my loved ones, the time and place I do them, and being able to do what I want, the time and place I want it, without worrying about salary or getting paid to do what I was doing. So I wanted to be in a situation where I love what I do. I don't see it as a job or as work because I love it so much. And uh, the second thing I wanted was financial freedom because financial freedom would be the only thing that would make me do things at a time and place I want them and do things as if my life depends on it. So because I love it, okay? So the first thing I did was to set a clear financial goal. And I set this goal um, I create it, not making it to be an easy rich goal. I made it gigantic goal, um, yet realistic, to push me to tap into my superpower to make these things happen for me. The second thing I did was I develop a budget and stick to it, the budget. I'm prioritizing investing instead of spending. So what do I mean by that? Before I spend money, I look at it this way. Does it bring me additional income? Does it bring me passive income? Or does it even add value to me, right? If it, check, if it doesn't check all those boxes, I put it aside for like a week or so. I go again and look at it. If it doesn't check it, okay? And then I prioritize investing. Uh, when I'm talking about investing here, I'm not talking about investing in, in actually doing things. Investing not just on that, but investing in me, physically, morally, emotionally, and financially right in order to prepare me for whatever phased me okay the third thing i did which is the most one of the most important thing if it's not the most important of all the things i'm going to tell you now in this video is living below my means and avoid unnecessary debt so i lived below my mean i spent less money right i spent only 80 percent of my income right i only spent that income so at that point i was saving 20 percent Okay, and with that, with, with that twenty percent, I was able to accumulate, save a bit more money, and then the next thing I did is to invest wisely by diversifying my investment into the same investment strategy or investment industry. What do I mean by that? When I started investing in properties, I started looking at rent-to-rent -rent investment. Okay, getting them one in one location and the other in another location to kind of diversify my risk, not in the asset class itself, but in the risk of being exposed a lot in one area, okay? And obviously then I start looking for professional advice if needed by getting a mentor, a coach, educating myself. And what then really expedite my process is not trying to find out things in YouTube or Google. Because what I realized was spending more time looking for these things and when i saw the answers they're not always accurate answers because there's so many gaps within the knowledge so i was really really wasting my time so uh, i was happy i realized that sooner in a harsh way okay so i continuously then educate myself about personal finance and investment strategies especially property investment strategies but i mastered one made sure i become pro-efficient in, in that one mastered it become really really good at it and knowing that everybody knows me for that strategy because I, before I start moving to another strategy, because now I know that one, that one would work without me. I did it automated, systemize it to allow me to move on to the next strategy. And the next thing I did basically is using those strategies to maximize my income. Okay, I did it in various ways. The number one way I did it is by looking at an other property investment strategies. When I looked at rent to service recommendations, you may be asking what that is. This is by renting a property from, from a landlord. Instead of renting it room by room, you use it as an Airbnb property, okay? So I use that strategy and my rent to rent strategy to throw money at me, okay? Once you start throwing money at me, I use some of that money 
to further educate myself because I know now it works because I can see the evidence, okay? And then what I then do, the remaining balance, I start then buying properties, okay? Acquiring these properties, buying them, buying dilapidated buildings, properties that nobody wants, nobody want to live in. I was buying these houses, renovating the houses to force the value up, maximize my income that way. So I rinse and repeat the process, personal development, learning personal finance and investment, diversifying that way, buying properties, doing them up, adding value, forcing the value up in order to be able to recycle my money and uh, by partnering with different, different people to allow that to happen. Be patient and disciplined. That really, really helped me. So what do I mean by that? It's about delaying your gratification or, or things like that would really, really what makes you disciplined, especially if you start making monies that you could only dream of. Okay, you could only dream of that money and then now that is happening to you in real life. Patient, discipline, especially discipline is what holds you back to delay the gratification. Because the longer you delay the gratification, the better results you get and the more hungry you become. Understanding the financial freedom takes time and consistently make that effort with showing results. I am not sure who said this word. They say entrepreneurs are people that work really, really hard without seeing results because they focus in the vision. They, they focus on the long run because they know in the long run they will be making good return on their investment. They're not just looking for today. They are looking for tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, years. Some are looking 20 years from now. The eighth thing I did was regularly review and adjust my financial plan as needed to stay track. I review them. What do I need to pivot? What do I need to tweak that way? What do I need to do? What value do I need to kind of get to where I want to go? Regularly doing that in a monthly, sometimes even a daily basis to pivot, to drive my business forward. So there you have it. These are the eight secrets I use to become financially free and create financial freedom for me and for my family. If you implement these secrets, you may be thinking, oh, this is easy. But look at it, have you implemented any of those? If you haven't, if you implement some of them, not all of them, go back to that list and try to implement all of them. I promise you, it will transform your life and the life of the people around you. I really hope this video has been helpful. This video has been helpful. Hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials. I look forward to sharing the next video. Thank you.